Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Telsin and today we are meeting for a little beauty empty session. Um, keep it, toss it, purchase it again. Um, what has been my opinion on, on all these beauty empties? There is makeup, there is um, care, there is a bit of everything. It's products I've used and I've finished and I've kept them to uh, review them for you once I'm done with them. Um, so I'm gonna get started. Then the first thing I'm gonna show you will be this little serum. It's from the brand Codage. It's called Skin Recovery and um, it's Intense Skin Repair Concentrated Face Serum. Um, yeah, it's empty. I really like the packaging. I like the packaging of this brand Kodash. It's a brand I had. I wanted to try since a very long time. Uh, they have very specific uh, serum and things for very specific purposes. And um, last summer, I went for a face uh, care at the Kodash Institute, and it was amazing. My skin was like so good after. Um, and at the end, you know, as always, they show you the products uh, they've used on you. Do you want to purchase some of the things? And I was quite hesitating because it's not a cheap brand. And I thought, you know what? It, it's the opportunity. Now I can I can give it a try. And this skin recovery was good. Um, I have hormonal breakouts. And then it helps um, heal the skin after, um, you know, it lasts a few days and then um, the skin needs to heal from that. And so this was, uh, this was the idea behind it. Um, I have to, to smell it again. So it's a classic little thing like that. Yeah, it smelled. The smell is, for me, intoxicating. Like, it smells so good. Just, just that smell, you know, on the evening. It has this relaxing, appeasing, it smells, I don't know, fresh, mil milky almost, I don't know, in a good sense, you know, and luxurious also, it's, it's, because this is not cheap, I'm not sure exactly how much I paid for it, but I think it was around 90 euro, and it is 10 milliliters, 0 0.34 um, ounces, FL, OZ, ounce flu flus, <laughs> I, mean, I never know, I always saw it, I've always wondered, Oh, it's actually called anyway um yeah 0 0.34 um it's uh, made in france um yeah it's a french brand codage and they say here yeah how to do it um they say you can apply a few drops morning and or night to face and neck after cleansing so i just did it on the night uh, not morning and night for me that that was enough and as i said the smell was like extremely relaxing and appeasing for me so it was perfect in my night routine um i really to be honest i liked it uh, i think it was a very nice ritual i did not see a miraculous effect on my skin i mean it, it worked but this is not cheap you know and i'm not sure it worked that much better than some of my other products um the, the difference being yeah the the texture and the smell which were amazing but I don't know, I might repurchase it or purchase other, try other products from the brand. Um, because again, I mean, it, it worked. The, the whole experience was great uh, using this product. It's just, as always, you know, when you pay this kind of prices for a product, uh, you have to, 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 to compare whether it's worth it or not. Um, and I'm not sure it's worth that price. Um, I'm not more percent sure. Um, I've been using other things to repair my skin all the evenings, like creams and so on from, from pharmacies, like brands like La Roche-Posay and so on, um, which cost a fraction of that and are working great. So, but they don't smell as good and they don't feel as good. And the packaging is glass, uh, feels really, really nice. Yeah, I was sad that it was over. It was too small, too small. Um, then I'm gonna go fast. Uh, if you watch these videos, um, if it's not the first time you watch, you know this. It's my the eye cream I've been using a lot. Uh, vitamin C uh, eye cream with niacinamide, caffeine, banana powder. I'm not sure what the banana powder is doing in there. It does not really smell like banana at all. It does not really smell like much at all, to be honest. It looks yellow. Um, yeah, and I like it. I, I use it in the morning. It's my, pff, I've stopped counting uh, the, the number. I have a new one that I'm using at the moment. This is one of my staples. Um, and yeah, I, I really like it. I'm considering trying also now. I've seen some new releases, which I want to try for eye cream. So I might try a few different eye creams in the future, but it's a good one. It's working. It's not very expensive. Um, yeah, I, I can only recommend it. <laughs> 
then okay uh next one we are gonna go i don't know well some hair care why not some hair care i have this one so i'm not going i'm not showing a lot of hair care because i'm using a lot of uh, shampoos and conditioners which are not necessarily something special uh, when i use something a bit different a bit special i might show it to you here and this i wanted to show it to you because it's uh, it's actually really great um it's an overnight fresh um dry shampoo from the brand batiste and yeah it's it's overnight which is amazing because in the morning you know sometimes you don't have the time you put it in you have to wait and you have to make sure you brush it good that it all goes away and everything and i feel like the one i use during the day i always feel like there's still something in my hair during the day it's it's not that comfortable i cannot wait to arrive at the evening and be able to wash my hairs and i really try only to use it in um, emergency situations when yeah there was no way i had time to do my shampoo and my ways have my hairs have no way of surviving one more day i have very short hair i mean very they could be shorter but they are short and so it's not so easy for me i cannot like trick with tie um um tie, tying them you say tying them you know like doing uh, something like that because it looks a bit ridiculous uh, this little half thing i have in the back i do it when i do some sport or things like that but otherwise um if i want to go to work or anything like that it's it's not so easy so um then this is this has been a perfect solution uh, if on the evening i notice oh i i will not have the time to wash my hair i just spray it smell is nice it's it's a strong smell it's often a strong smell uh don't intoxicate yourself in your bathroom like with all the fumes from this kind of product it's not the best uh, from that point of view um uh, it's not so good to breathe them too much so if you have a window in your bathroom or anything then open the window do it by the window or something like that um and yeah so you just just spray it a bit it smells quite nice yeah it's not too strong uh, there is a smell um but it's not that strong and the next day i feel like it's almost gone already the smell it does not um do anything on your pillow at least my pillows there's no mark or anything it's transparent or it's not like colored um and so for my pillows it looked i mean there's nothing on them um and on the next day you just brush a bit and i feel like it feels much less annoying than the normal one and it works just as good so that's a very good uh, tip and you don't have to wait also in the morning you can just simply brush your hairs and yeah it works it works very very good i find it works better than the day ones so yes um i have another bottle that i'm currently using uh, i try not to do it too much as i said i try to just simply wash my hair if i can but sometimes like it's just not possible um the next one I'm gonna do I'm gonna do some care and then we will move to the makeup. Um, I had this uh, night cream from Nivea, uh, a pleasing night cream, 24 hour hydration and regeneration with um, oil from grape um, grape seed grape seed oil. Yeah, I think that's how you would translate it for a sensitive uh, skin without a perfume or anything. It was good, but I would not particularly repurchase it. Um, the smell was not anything special. They say there is uh, extract of camille, uh, provitamin B5, and, and these kind of things. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I was not particularly convinced by this one. It was not bad, but it, it's, I've not found yet, like, I think, the night cream I like. I'm really switching. I'm trying every time a, a new one um but this is not it this it worked smell was fine let me check again yeah had nothing special is it it was quite a light texture so it was um easy to apply i think in summer it will also be easy to apply because it was not light it was not feeling too greasy um yeah i don't know it's called calming night cream it works it's nothing amazing i, I i'm not gonna purchase it again i think then I'm staying with Nivea. Um, I had a hand cream, um, Express um, Hydratation, um, with natural um, sea minerals and bamboo extract for normal um, to dry uh, skin. They say a 24 hour care and it goes fast in your hands, which is true. They sh show you here how it's supposed to feel on your skin from light to uh, very, uh, very rich. 
and yeah, this is supposed to feel, feel light, and it did, <laughs> it did feel very light, um, I just felt like maybe it was too light for me, they say it's supposed to be too normal, this dry skin, um, I would say not dry skin, it was not that, um, that um, uh, caring, like it was not so much hydration for me, uh, sorry, I'm still a bit sick, I had to, I had to cough, <laughs> um, yeah, so it still feels, um, it was not hydrating enough for me, it still feels a bit, uh, my hand still felt a bit dry, but you had indeed a very light feeling, uh, it, no feeling of um, um, sticky hands or anything after, so this it definitely felt, if your hands are not too dry, I've used it also through the winter, which was probably not the best strategy because in winter your hands typically need more uh, hydration, I think it would make sense to try it more now, uh, in spring, summer, when the weather is warmer, your hands are not that dry anymore, and you want a light texture because it's summer and it's warm and you don't want this rich uh, texture. So, yeah, it, not for the winter. Um, then I have some makeup. Let's move on to makeup. Um, some heat and some not so much heat. So, um, this was not such a hit. I lost <laughs> the end of it. It's very famous. It's the Anastasia Beverly, Will, Beverly Hills Brow Wits. Um, I had it in the color soft brown. And yeah, it's, uh, I've just emptied it um, because it worked. I mean, I'm not going to say it's bad product or anything. It definitely works. The thing is just, I like more the one from Victoria Beckham. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, I like more the one from Victoria Beckham. Um, I feel the one from Victoria Beckham is more creamy. And with my eyebrows, I'm not looking into doing very defined strokes. I'm more looking into filling the gaps. <laughs> I have like, uh, my eyebrows are very um, light. I mean, yeah, I, I have to fill them in, basically. And with this, it, it feels a bit more uh, harder. And because the one from Victoria Beckham is creamier, that's why I also liked um, pencils, which are often easier to, to use when it's a bit more creamy texture. Um, but yeah, this, if you are looking for something to do the little strokes, this will this will work very good. If you are looking like me for something to more like fill out the thing and then you know, then you go and then you brush your, your eyebrow, then I will recommend more to try the one from Victoria Pekka. Then, um, yeah, that was kind of a fail also. It's from Clarins. It's, this is a tiny version, it was a travel version. Uh, Natural Lip uh, Perfector. Um, yeah. I have, this is a shade one, there's no, no, no name on it here, um, yeah, I think it was part of a set or something like that, um, I'm not a big fan of it, it's not the first time I get one of them, um, the end is this little uh, thing, you know, like it's um, like a little foam, like, I don't know, the, the smell is not bad, it's not so much my kind of smell, it smells a bit sweet, um, I just don't like this kind of ending with this, um, you know, with this, it's, um, it's like fabric or it's like, um, little bristles at the end. And I don't like that because I find that there's always product staying inside. After a while I, f I feel, oh, you will have to wash it all the time, but then don't you get water in it and it's really not convenient. So I don't like so much, um, this application thing. I think on the long term, I'm not sure it's the most hygienic and, um, and also, okay. It makes a nice little oil, it, your lips look a bit better, but in my case, I feel like it dries my lips. And when I use it a few days in a row, then um, I will, my lips here and so on will start getting a bit dry. I don't know if it's because I'm then maybe licking my lips more when I have it, because it has this sweet uh, smell and so on, it could be. Um, but yeah, it's not really caring my lips, I don't feel like it's really nourishing my lips or anything, it's more like really um, a cosmetic effect. And in my case, it even makes them look a bit, uh, I mean, then it dries them out. Um, or I dry them out uh, because I uh, lick my lips, I don't know. Um, but so I'm not, I'm not convinced. I'm not going to repurchase. And for me, the biggest down part is um, yeah, this applicator where I'm really not a fan of it. Otherwise, the smell is nice. The color is good. They have a lot of color, so you could pick another one you like better. Um, looks nice. I know the, the, the normal one is a bit longer. Um, if you like this kind of applicator, then, then you could definitely give it a try. 
I just um, I just don't like it. I like more. There are some which are similar, but at the end it's made out of silicone, for example, or uh, other things. This is all good. Like even like my eye cream, you know, you have also um, um, lip products which have this kind of thing there. But this is all silicone, and and that's not a problem then. But this uh, this product will stay there in this in this fabric, these bristles, and I don't know. Um, then last one uh, in the makeup category, and then I have one last product. Uh, it's this Huda Beauty One Coat Wow Mascara. I will show you the brush. The brush looks like that. It's a bit different when you turn it. They, sometimes it goes up, some it goes low. And the concept is when you put it, you're supposed to turn to have the full effect. And I must admit, it is it is extremely impactful. It's the one I'm wearing again today because I have a second one. I have a backup one. Um, it's... And there I only did it once. Like I could have done much more. I don't know if you will be able to see. Um, I could have uh, put much, 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 much more. The last week I've been using a lot um, another mascara I also have that I like a lot too from Victoria Beckham. And then this week I was switching back to this one. And yeah, I mean, you cannot compare them if you want volume, but like really impactful volume. And, and this is this is really great. I find it's better after a few days or even like maybe two, two weeks. I find that at the beginning when you just open it, but I have this with a lot of mascara. I don't know how it is for you if you have the same thing. But when I just open it at the beginning, I don't know, it, it works, but it's everything is more complicated. And then somehow, I don't know if it's because the formula dries a bit or whatever happens. Or Because even if, you know, even if I'm not switching between two mascara, like I finish one and I move to the next one, I will notice a difference with a new one. And um, I don't know. I don't know why that is. And I don't know if it's just in my head, maybe. I don't know. Um, so I find it best after a few days, but then it's really like, it's incredibly, it's working incredibly good. I have a little, like also a little spoolie, you know, a little thing. If, um, if I had a bit too much of a heavy hand, because I like also to really uh, put a lot, sometimes I'm also wearing glasses and so on. So I like to have very impactful, I, I don't do so much makeup. And this is like my eyes is where I do most, um, with the mascara. So I, I go, I go a lot. And sometimes I go too much and then I have this little spoolie to clean a bit and it works amazing. I really, really, really like it. I'm, I'm ordered. I will try another one and then, but this one I will keep ordering for sure. And then last thing, last but not least, it's a perfume, Flower Bomb uh, by Victor and Rolf. Um, this is my beloved perfume. I love that smell. I've been wearing this perfume since... It's not yet 20 years, but um, almost. Um, I discovered it when I was a teenager. I've been loving it. I don't know how many bottles of it I've emptied. I have many other perfumes now, so I switch a lot between perfumes. But this is like my basic go back to perfume. And what I love also about this one is it's a mainstream perfume. But it's not a perfume which is worn so much by so many people. So it's not a perfume where you will have uh, a risk of having a lot of your colleagues wearing the same, a lot of your friends having the same. There are other perfumes which are much more popular. This is not one of the like top 10 popular perfumes. So you don't smell it that much, which I also like to have a bit this um, exclusivity of the smell. Even if, again, I also have in my perfume some which are very popular. And I don't really care, I, I wear them. But I like that to have this... You know, and I think it's also different when you have a perfume like that, which is still rooted in your teenage year and everything. It, it has a, a special something for it with you. And if you are down or if there is anything or you need comfort or you need, I don't know, you know, it's like I often go back to, to this one every time. Um, and so I have a new one, obviously, and um, I just love it. It's not particularly cheap. It costs a bit more than 100 euros, um, but it's just such a great one. And yeah, and that's it. I don't know if you also have like uh, like this, like a favorite, I would say almost in, in French, we say a doudou, in German, the couchelty, you know, like, a, like a, you know, like this little toy or this little plush thing you have as a kid that you carry around with you, you know, do you have like such a person? This is, this is like that for me, kind of. Um, I don't know if you have also uh, like that with some perfumes. Um, 
And yeah, I don't know if you have any question about the product. If you want me to try also some product, please don't hesitate. I'm always open. I'm always curious about trying new products. So don't hesitate um, if you want me to try something and review it once I finish it. Then I can gladly do that. And yeah, and without further comments, then I will leave you with another video here in case you have not seen it. And if you've enjoyed this video and you would like to see more, you can gladly subscribe to my channel by clicking there. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.